everyone. Um, I am going to come in today and show you how to make homemade eggnog in your deluxe cooking blender. It is super easy. It is basically just assembling the ingredients and then you're going to let the cooking blender cook it. I don't know if you've ever made homemade eggnog. I tried it once before and my eggs curdled because I have to stand there and stir and so forth and it's just a painstaking process that doesn't need to be. So if you're like me, I like to know kind of what goes in my stuff, and so this is a great way to do so. Anyway, Pampered Chef just sent out a great recipe to everybody about homemade eggnog, and I'll put it in my comments for my business page. Um, so if you don't follow me on my business page, go ahead and jump over there and take a look. That way you can also have the recipe too. So I'm cutting this recipe in half because I think like cilantro, not everybody loves eggnog. I'm not a big fan of cilantro, but I am a big fan of eggnog. So not everybody in my family drinks it, so I'm making some just for me. So right now I have one and a half cups of whole milk. I, it costs for three cups, so I'm basically having the recipe. So these are our Easy Read measuring cups. The Easy Read measuring cups are so great because they not only come in a set of three, so two cup, four cup, one cup, um, but you can read the measurements up the side. And well, I don't know about you, but for me, I hate looking down to the side all the time, so I do like these cups. So I'm doing a three quarter cup of heavy cream. So it would be, one and a half cups of heavy cream in a normal size. So, and then here's that, and then you can see that they come in sets of three and they stack into each other as well. But these are fantastic. They are on rotation in my dishwasher all the time. So uh, the next thing that I'm gonna add is I'm going to add, uh, it is two and a half tablespoons of sugar. Um, it called for five tablespoons of sugar, so I did two and a half. Um, and I like something with a little bit less sugar in it anyway, so that's a nice way to do that. And then you could do sweetener if you chose to or not. Um, this also calls for a little bit of vanilla. If you do not have our Madagascar vanilla, it is going to be gone at the end of 2020. And um, that's one of the things that I'm sad to see go at the end of 2020. So um, I'm just doing a little bit of eyeball and putting a little cap full in. But this double strength vanilla means that you only have to use half of it. It is absolutely delicious and you really can taste the difference in the flavor when you're baking. So I really like that. Also in here is an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of what they actually called for nutmeg, but I'm gonna use our Cortenji cinnamon because I prefer cinnamon in my eggnog, so I'm doing that there. Again, the cinnamon is one of the things that will be going away at the end of 2020. There are pantry seasonings, they're seasonal, they're great for baking, so if you don't have the cinnamon or the cinnamon plus, it's a real good time to grab yourself some before you go. So this is it. All I'm gonna do is assemble this and then I'm gonna stick it on the cooking blender and I'm gonna start it and it's gonna go. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna beep at me about halfway through when it's cooked and heated and warm and I'm gonna stick three egg yolks in it and I put those in my prep bowls. And what's so great about a prep bowl is that I, didn't, I don't like to waste. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take three of my egg whites and I'm gonna leave it in this prep bowl and I'm gonna stick a lid on it and I'm gonna put it in my freezer because then the next time I need egg whites for meringue or if I need it for you know doing over baking or whatever, I can easily just grab that and I can defrost it and it will stay the same consistency and all I had to do was stick it in my freezer to hold on to it. So definitely don't waste stuff. If you can easily you know, put it in a prep bowl, put a lid on it, stick it in the freezer, the prep bowls come in one cup, two cup, and three cup settings and they're fantastic. I do recommend not putting your lids for your prep bowls in your dishwasher if you're using your heated setting because it tends to make them a little bit less pliable and they don't hold on to the prep bowl as easily. But anyway, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on here and if you'll forgive me for a second, I just need to figure out which setting I have to do. And um, so I, I basically they tell me to use the sauce setting. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put this on here. And the blender's awesome because when I close it, you can hear that it's actually closed. And I'm gonna turn it to the sauce setting the button right there and so what it will do is it's going to do its thing and it will slowly start to blend and then it'll stop for a little bit and the heat will start to rise and what's nice too about this one is the fact that the heat on it will actually show at the bottom of the display how hot it's actually getting so if you're not using your cooking blender for things like jam or peanut butter or soup or sauces it's fantastic you guys you can make a peanut butter like sauce like a peanut butter saute sauce with like spicy peanuts, 
stick it right in there, let it blend up. It makes a beautiful peanut sauce. If you're doing a chicken saute, it's fantastic. So I love my cooking blender for so many things, but if you're only using your blender for smoothies and margaritas, which don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but if you're only using them for those things, you really do need to branch out and see if something uh, will help um, you do a little bit more with your blender and your cooking blender is the way to go. So anyway, I hope you guys are like having a great holiday and um, whatever you're doing, I hope you're cooking well.